This is Nancy Chernin, theater critic for the Dallas Morning News. I'm here with my top five theater picks, the shows I'm most looking forward to seeing this week and that I think you'll enjoy checking out too. My first pick is Lovers and Executioners at Circle Theater. More than a decade before the Gone Girl book and film burst on the scene, playwright John Strand won the 1999 Charles MacArthur Award for Outstanding New Play for Lovers and Executioners, a tale of a woman, presumed dead, who returns disguised to wreak havoc on her husband's life. Robin Armstrong directs with Marianne Galloway as the mysterious wife with an agenda. My second pick is Wasteland at Stage West. Unmasked Theater, a nomadic company with Dallas roots, is wending its way to Fort Worth to present the Texas premiere of Wasteland. It's the story of an American soldier captured by the enemy. Popular Dallas director Jeffrey Schmidt directs Susan Felder's 2012 play about a POW that struggles to keep his sanity by talking to a voice on the other side of his prison wall. My third pick is a soldier's play at African American Repertory Theater. African American Repertory Theater kicks off its new season with a soldier's play, a Pulitzer Prize winner by Charles Fuller. The story sweeps you back in time to 1944, near the end of World War II, where a black captain is sent in to investigate the murder of a black sergeant in the U.S. Army. Willie Minor will direct an ensemble that features Christopher Dontrell Piper and Dallas Theater Center's Hassan El Amin. My fourth pick is Streamers from Lip Service. Lip Service is offering a hard-hitting regional revival of David Rabe's Streamers, a story of four young soldiers in 1965 trying to make sense of the escalation of the Vietnam War. The 1977 Tony Award nominee for Best Play addresses racial tensions, sexuality, and conflicts over class. It contains adult language and mature themes and will be performed in Farmer's Branch. My fifth pick is The Chocolate War at Plano Children's Theater. Youth theater is getting a lot more challenging than it used to be. In this Friday's Guide, I'll be talking about three companies doing work you wouldn't expect from kids. One of them is Plano Children's Theater, which will present The Chocolate War, which Joseph Robinette adapted from, Char from Robert Cormier's hard-hitting young adult novel about students dealing with bullying at a New England prep school. Becca Johnson Spinos directs this play, which is recommended for ages 13 and older due to mature language and violence. This is Nancy Chernin, theater critic for the Dallas Morning News. Until next week, I'll see you at the theater.